Hey guys, how's it going? Valley Venture Investing here today. So today we're going to be talking about Apple. Uh, just had their Q1 2024 or 24 earnings. Um, this was a holiday quarter. Again, so a strong quarter. Uh, Apple lately is being getting pretty close a couple times to all-time highs. We're sitting around $2.88 trillion market cap. Uh, after hours after these earnings, it's down about 2.9%. I'm a little surprised that it's down a little bit. So we're going to be talking about the stock today. We're going to be talking about these earnings, uh, my opinions on it, uh, maybe a couple things that you didn't know just from reading uh, the news articles on it uh, if you did read those. Revenue over year over year is up actually 2%, um, which is quite impressive. Uh, revenue came in at $119.58 billion uh, versus $117.97 billion. This is analyst expectations on this side, so pretty crazy. I think I put that number in my uh, thumbnail there, almost $120 billion dollars in three months in a quarter of revenue. Uh, EPS earnings per share is $2.18 uh, versus analyst expectations of 2.09. They're always beating on that. They're always buying back shares. Uh, so nothing really too surprising there. Cash was $172.58 billion. Again, they're going to become uh, net cash neutral. There's no change there as well. iPhone revenue is up, up about 6% year over year. So we finally have seen this growth return here. It was almost $70 billion, three months versus $68.55 billion uh, by analyst estimates. Uh, all the rest of the items here were actually slightly misses in terms of analyst expectations. iPod revenue is $7.02 billion versus $7.06. Of course, they talked about a difficult compare here. Um, there hasn't been a really new iPad in a while. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Mac revenue, 7.78 billion. Mac actually returned to growth, which is good. It was a pretty rough quarter for it last quarter, uh, but the analyst expectations were 7.9 billion. Uh, services revenue, um, 23.12 billion. I believe that's an all-time record as well. Uh, actually, this is the first time that I've seen analyst expectations uh, actually being slightly ahead uh, the expectations were 23.37 billion uh, but still extremely strong there uh, wearables home and accessories a little bit of a letdown 11.95 billion dollars versus uh, 12.02 billion uh, expected they also talked about how this was a little bit of a difficult compare uh, compared to the app because of the apple watch that came out uh, airpods that did come out uh, but still relatively strong if we're looking at here the income statement, uh, again, we can see here products was 96.45. It was actually kind of almost flat year over year. This is the December quarter of last year. Services we saw again, growth again here, and that gave us that huge, uh, well, not a huge, but a 2% gain, uh, better than some companies right now, uh, but definitely return to growth here. Uh, gross margins, again, were slightly higher, of course, because we have uh, services revenue, which has a higher gross margin, they're around 72% gross margin this quarter, if I recall. Uh, interesting to see research and development drop slightly. I'm almost thinking that's because they put so much money into this Vision Pro that was just probably a massive amount of R&D. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty close in line there. So if we go down to the bottom here, net income was 33.96 billion versus 29.99 billion. So an increase there. Earnings per share, like I said, diluted to $2.18 uh, versus $1.88 a year ago. If we look at these net sales by the uh, reportable segment here, again, we've seen it was a lot better than last quarter. Uh, basically an improvement except for great, great, Greater China, and that's kind of what's bringing the stock down. America's pretty significant, 50 billion versus 49 billion uh, in revenue. Uh, Europe, had pretty big beat there, pretty big increase. Japan uh, was pretty big as well. The rest of uh, Asia Pacific was quite very large as well. But again, it's greater China. Now we know that there was the ban on some of the Chinese officials uh, using the iPhone. So I think this is hampering them a lot as well. Uh, Huawei, I can't say that name very well, but <laughs> the uh, Chinese manufacturer is taking a lot of market share there as well. But even though this we have this blight again we've seen this increase and again this quarter if i haven't mentioned this already i don't think i did was actually a week shorter um, than the previous quarter that we're comparing it to here um, so that's a whole week and i'm going to get into how much money that could potentially be it, it doesn't sound like a lot they mentioned a lot during their conference call and i think for good reason that's a pretty big impact now net sales by category iphone again 
we see a pretty good growth there. It's about 6% or so, 69.7 billion versus 65.7. Mac, we've seen the return to growth, 7.78 versus 7.735 the year ago. iPad was a little bit of a letdown here. Uh, 7 billion versus 9.3 billion, pretty huge there. And again, they talked about, I believe it was the last year around this time is when they redesigned the iPad. And keep in mind that there is gonna be a new iPad coming out. You've been kind of following the news on this and it's gonna be a pretty good refresh. So I expect to see that <coughs> strengthen going forward. Wearables, home and accessories is actually another miss here. That's an X, uh, $11.9 billion versus $13.4 billion a year ago. So we saw a little bit of weakness there, but again, they said that that had to do to difficult compares uh, due to a watch and the AirPods Pro, I believe it was, it had come out a year ago. But again, services came in and made up for that 23.11 billion versus 20.76 billion a year ago. Still growing, uh, growing pretty significantly. Now, the conference call, this is the last thing we're gonna be talking about here tonight. Just a couple points that I came, you know, that I gathered from this. Again, they talked a lot about this 13 weeks last quarter. Um, versus the 14 weeks on the quarter uh, a year ago. If you do just rough math, there's no way of knowing Apple doesn't break down how much Apple makes in a week. But if you just kind of did the math, you divided this quarter and how much would they make per uh, week, that's almost $10 billion. So you, like, look at the effect that that could have on uh, the revenue, another $10 billion uh, hypothetically, right? Um, so. That's something I don't see actually being talked about on the media at all, and that's a pretty significant factor. Uh, install base, 2.2 billion active devices, all-time record. I believe it was 2 billion or so last quarter. Uh, so it's just their install base is crazy, right? Um, and that's what's gonna be driving those services continuing going forward. Um, and they talked about that a couple times during their uh, conference call here about how they're gonna expand, be expanding their services. So it'll be interesting to see how they're gonna be expanding these services going forward. Um, they said that the services is gonna be uh, accelerating uh, from this quarter. Um, so that's gonna be interesting, something to watch going into next quarter. Late, uh, next quarter. Um, but so it's not gonna be quite as apparent, don't mind my English here, uh, because of the one last week, but uh, it, it's still gonna be accelerating. So. This acceleration, I guess what they're trying to say that was, wasn't quite as, as, as apparent um, just because of the last week in the uh, quarter, right? Uh, they talked about how the Mac returned to growth. I talked about that as well. Mac was doing pretty poorly for quite some time. Uh, so they expect that to continue. And like we said here, iPad was a difficult compare due to the last gen iPad being released last year. Now, in terms of guidance, uh, the foreign exchange continues to be a headwind. I think they believe they said it was about 2% or something going forward. They can look at things with a cost of currency uh, basis, and that actually shows things um, in a lot better light, but this is, you know, this is a headwind going forward. Services, uh, their next quarter, they're gonna expect similar double-digit growth rate. Um, so no deceleration there whatsoever. And then of course, all the buzzwords that we're hearing all the time, and it's kind of funny to hear Apple talking about it a bit, but he was asked, Tim Cook was asked about it directly, and his response was, there's a lot of internal work on generative AI. Um, so that's something that they've been working on for quite some time. Um, and yeah, generative AI, playing with chat GDP, uh, even I was playing with Bing's image generating, I think it's called Bing image generator, um, which is through OpenAI. This is crazy stuff. So <coughs> Apple needs to get in on this. And they said it, they will talk about this later this year. So they have some exciting announcements later this year. So stay tuned for that. I'm really interested to hear that. And of course, there was gonna be questions on the EU, uh, the App Store changes. Um, if you've been following the news a bit, that is kind of a hamper for Apple taking a certain amount of cuts, not allowing people to sideload apps different things like that. Anyway, it just kind of challenges Apple's wall, walled garden, so to speak, uh, in terms of the revenue. But Tim Cook said they kind of had some tricks up their sleeve in terms of uh, different app stores, different payment methods that are gonna come into effect in March. Um, 
So we'll see what that is and we'll see how it affects the company going forward. Um, and the CFO said that this Europe in Europe, because these, most of these effects are only going to be in Europe, it's ref roughly 7% of the revenue of the App Store. So I guess he framed it as being not such a <coughs> massive uh, portion of the App Store revenue. So all in all, I mean, I expected this quarter um, to be pretty bad, even though it's a very strong quarter. We've seen a lot of weakness in companies' uh, earnings as of late. Um, so personally, I think it was a win. I think it was a, a great quarter, especially considering that we were missing a week out of there. Uh, we saw a little bit of weakness, of course, in the iPad uh, wearables a, little, a bit and only 2% year over year growth. But I mean, given the circumstances right now, I think that's pretty good. So anyway, you guys got uh, any comments, uh, feel free to put them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.